What's up guys over here. Week 6 of StarkNet campaigns from Argent and Bravo's wallet is live and we can go ahead and complete the missions and also we have two pieces of news regarding the StarkNet. One is good and one is bad. As usual all links gonna be in description but follow them at your own risk. And we're gonna start with the Argent mission. Now this mission is for application Brick. So in order to complete it, we need to go to the website, connect the wallet. There is actually a campaign guide right here. So basically what we need to do here, we need to create a structure from at least 10 cubes. Haven't done this yet, so we'll see how it goes. There are a couple more tools here, paint tool and erase tool. We do erase tool. Okay, it just deletes the cubes. If you go paint tool, you can choose the different colors and color your cubes. You can just rotate with the left mouse button if you need to. Okay, I'll just do a pyramid like this. Not much of a pyramid, but who cares? Now we can click mint. We need to set the name and the description. And then we can mint. Also keep in mind that these bricks that you're using, they're not free. So you'll have to pay for the mint and also for the bricks. So how much would that be in total? So around 2.5 bucks for the bricks and 1.3 for the mint. This one is kind of pricey to be honest, but if you want to complete the campaign. But actually initially you will need to use 30 bricks instead of 10 bricks if you wanted to do campaign in the first several hours. And the price of bricks was also dynamic so price was lost higher than it is now. Now it's kind of moderate but it's still not free obviously. So that's Argent X and for the Bravos wallet uh, as usual we have campaign on the map. Make sure that you're connected with the Bravos here. And we need to share something on Twitter. Hi Gary. And then in order to be able to claim the NFT, uh, you need to have the identity. So you can either purchase dot Stark domain from Starknet ID, or if you don't have it still, you can register one right in the Bravos wallet. If you go to your account and then settings, there is a button here, register dot Bravos dot Stark domain. And if you haven't registered yet, you can do it. It's free, but you need to pay the gas. And once your ID is set, you can go ahead and claim the NFT. And once it's minted, same as previous week, you'll unlock two links. The first one is for Zilli and the second one is for the Proscore. Zilli link is for the OG raffle, but in order to participate, you need to have the bronze Bravosian role. And that's, I believe, level 7 on Zilli. So if you have that, you can participate if you haven't already. And now onto the news. First, we got bad news from Mint Square that announcing that they will be winding down operations on June 30th. And as you probably know, Mint Square has been a popular marketplace on Starknet and ZK Sync. So now we're gonna lose that one, unfortunately. But if you need to, you can still do transactions there until the closing date. And the second piece of news is from Starknet and it's quite positive. Blockchain throughput should be significantly increased very soon. Uh, on Testnet they plan to integrate these solutions in around four weeks from now and if everything is successful we're gonna see that on the mainnet after obviously and as you can see even that Twitter states that Starknet a quantum leap this summer. Hopefully the integration will be successful and Starknet will be uh, more usable because currently obviously it's just impossible to do anything there pretty much with like transactions taking 10 to 20 minutes. And it looks like my Argent Pyramid actually arrived. Yeah, it's already in my wallet. Although Argent team said that it can take several hours for the NFT to actually appear in your wallet. 
So that's all I wanted to cover here. Thank you very much for watching. Please drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you week seven.